are so grateful to have this bus system for our seniors, another layer of service so that they don't feel like, you know, they have to, be, they have to beg to get some help. It's an opportunity for them to have immediate access to rides. They can go to the doctor. We can take them to the grocery store. Because, you know, a lot of our seniors live in areas where there are food deserts. So we can pick them up and take them to another area of town where they can do their grocery shopping. And we can bring them to the senior center. That's the whole point, breaking social isolation. We need the Council on Aging, uh, and they play a very significant role in responding to the needs of our senior citizens in a community. Any community that uh, does not look after their elderly and is not concerned about their elderly it is not a thriving community. Many of them shared with us how they have been ready since 4.30, 5 o'clock this morning because they were so excited and that this is meeting a need for them and what it means for them in terms of being able to get out of their homes and be a part of something greater being able to fellowship with other uh, individuals. From Monday through Friday, um, they are super excited to where that they don't have to try to depend on other people. This gives them a little bit more independence, um, bringing them to the senior centers. Now they can come every day they want to come instead of on some days when they got to find rides. Um, it's going to give them a chance to not have to sit outside the senior center for hour and a half to an hour because I've seen some of them sit out there for a long time waiting on the rides and we're going to be prompt picking them up and bringing them in and then prompt taking them home. He was so comfortable because it's brand new buses and I thank God for all the buses and for picking us up and bringing us to the center so we're going to have a new thing so we got to get used to now picking up council on aging bus now and picking us to bring it to the center and I'm going to enjoy it. I love it and thank God for each and every one of them. We're going to continue to grow that there's still a great need out there and that we have to find it, tap into it, and add layers around it. And um, at the end of the day, what we want to do is assist most of the seniors in this parish, 87,000 of them, in some way, some way we want to be able to touch their lives. And so we're going to keep pressing our way to do that.